going to test a uh, small DC motor, demonstrate the Altest 5. And uh, this is a little single voltage machine. And we're going to go ahead and select that. I'm, uh, then I'm, I'm going to show you the single voltage machine for a single test. Then we'll go ahead and we will do um, a special test I use for troubleshooting to see if the armature is contaminated above and beyond the standard tests. So the first thing I do is turn it on. It'll give me some options including uh, DC testing. So you can see right there. Let's go ahead and we'll select the DC test. So press OK. And it gives me a selection. I can determine the type of machine I want to do. Well, this is a uh, shunt type motor. Um, so we'll select that. Um, I'm going to call it a single voltage because it shows single voltage and I'm going to be testing uh, at the motor. Okay, so I come down, single voltage shunt at the motor. It gives me an option test at the drive and it selects different tests as a result. So I press OK. And I do, I want to do my dissipation factor and capacitance test. Uh, yes, I do. So as before with the other tests, it says, okay, connect the blue clip to the field coil and the yellow to the frame. So uh, I've got a good frame ground here. Plug it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the blue and connect that to the field. Okay. So I've done that, and I press OK, and it's going to go ahead and measure those readings. Okay, 2.68%, 5.33 picofarad. Uh, so I press OK to continue. Ask if I want to do an insulation resistance test. Yes, I do. Press OK. Uh, press OK uh, to continue after I do it. So I'm connected, press OK, and then I press test and hold it, and it'll give me my reading, which is over one giggle. I've got it set for 500 volts. I press OK again, now it says insulation test number two. So I want to connect the blue clip to the armature coil and yellow to the frame. So I have now connected it to the armature coil, so I will go ahead and press OK to continue. And I press and hold test. There we go. Greater than one gig ohm. Press OK. Insulation test number three. Now I connect the blue clip to the armature coil and the yellow to the field. So now what it's doing is testing between the armature and the field. So I come here. connect and I press OK to continue. Press test. Greater than one gig ohm again. Press OK. Now it gives me all my readings. So I'm over one gig ohm everywhere. So the insulation looks pretty good. Press OK to continue. Now I want to do the static test DC1. So I'm going to do a blue and a red clip to the field coil circuit. So I'm going to take this yellow off. my red. I'll press OK to continue and allow it to run the tests. Okay. Now I'm going to connect both the blue and the red to the armature circuit. I like armatures, big wires, usually. And I will press OK to continue, and I'll allow that one to run. Okay, press OK to continue. Now it gives me my readings, 
and it gives me an option to save. I always save before I do anything else. So save. I'm going to do a quick save because I can put the rest of the nameplate data in later. So I'll do a quick save. And I'm going to call this dry silker. So D E M D E M. And then I'm going to go space D C. Uh, and then I'm going to put in number. So as you remember, to put number and I press OK and I put in one. So OK, there we go. All set. Nice. Go up to next, press OK and it's all safe. Now I can take a look at my data on here. Now this will allow me to go back take a look at my basic uh, information. So if I press OK on resistance, I give my resistance of my um, stator and armature. It'll give me my insulation to ground tests. And insulation to ground tests. Phase angle test, which I can use to track and trend or compare between uh, same motors. Current frequency response. Again, set track. My impedance, which sometimes would be out of range. Oh, no, that's good. And uh, my inductance readings. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for now, and then we're going to come back and we're going to discuss um, the uh, next step, which is some basic troubleshooting using uh, this technology. Um, the other information would be trendable on the software that comes with the system.